This episode is brought to you by Zazzle.com. Custom t-shirts, personalized gifts, posters, and more. Use our code EveryDrink11 and save 10% off orders $50 or more. Welcome to Sunday Night Shooters. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Today, the watermelon shooter. This recipe was submitted by Nick now, I had to do this out of curiosity. It, I think it recently came in, and Nick said it tastes like watermelon. Now, is it going to be like the chocolate cake shooter, which is like one of the best, most famous shooters I think we've done, and it, all positive comments on that one, because it tastes like chocolate cake, and there's no chocolate cake in it. This is supposed to taste like watermelon. No watermelon in it. No watermelon schnapps. No mel- Midori melon liqueur. What did we do? We did melon liqueur and something else for the watermelon teeny bubblicious. Bubblegum vodka. We use that, I think, right? So, we're going to see if this really does taste like watermelon. Amaretto. We're going to do a half ounce of the three spirits, Amaretto, vodka, and Southern Comfort. This is the second time Amaretto and Southern Comfort have been paired together this week. How about that? And we do get people, I get a lot of emails and private messages saying, Oh, I like how you did that recipe with Southern Comfort. Do you have any more? The answer will always be yes. With whatever the spirit, insert your spirit here, there's always more. So I could point you to where they go, but it's easier if you search. But they ask anyway. Tito's vodka. We're going to use a little of that. It should be nice neutral neutral spirit. I didn't want to impact the drink with a, a vodka that might have certain types of flavors to it because I don't know if that would change the fact that this could magically just turn out tasting like watermelon. We're going to do a splash of pineapple juice, splash of orange juice, doesn't splash so well, splash of grenadine, that's it. more. Shake it up. Fill up our glass a little bit. Smells like amaretto. Kind of looks like watermelon from here. It looks like watermelon now. Like the watermelon juice, if it was dirty. No, like the the guts. <laughs> the part you eat. The They're flesh. rotting. They're not bright. It's not, watermelon is bright red. Yeah. This is more it like would peach. Be. Yeah. Kind of looks like it. All right. Let's see if it works. Hmm. I'm getting amaretto and Southern Comfort most. There might be a little bit of watermelon, but I could detect the ingredients. Like I, I, could, I know what they are, and I think the beauty of having one of those weird cocktails that actually tastes like something is you're not getting those ingredients. You're getting something completely different. And this one, it was like immediately, I'm like, ooh, amaretto, tasty. No doubt. Tasty. Amaretto, Southern Comfort together. It's a good combination. Um, I don't really get a lot of pineapple or orange juice. I don't get the the culmination that says watermelon. I'm getting a tasty drink that might have some reflections of watermelon, but itself I don't think is really watermelon. But it was a nice try. So that is the watermelon shooter. Regardless, you should te- check it out because it is tasty to get, to begin with. So why wouldn't you? Especially if you have the ingredients. So there you go for Sunday Night Shooters. EverydayDrinkers.tv, alcoholsbyvolume.com. We're teaching you how to drink.